This morning we have new NBC News polling out of Iowa on the 2024 race ahead of this week's first Republican debate. Now, a big headline here is Donald Trump's challengers have a big uphill climb to stop him. But the numbers do show an opening for some of his rivals. This, as the Trump campaign confirms, he is skipping Wednesday's debate. We'll talk all things debate in just a moment. But first, let's bring in NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. Steve, break down these new numbers for us. Yeah, Anna, well, you mentioned the big hill that Trump's opponents have to climb in the first in the nation caucus state. Let's show you what that hill looks like. This is it. It's Trump running in our new NBC News Des Moines Register poll. Trump running in first place at 42 percent, more than doubling up his nearest rival. That's Ron DeSantis, who's at 19 percent, a 23 point lead for the former president. No one else in double digits. Tim Scott there, uh, the best of the rest at 9%. You see a scattering for the rest right there. So that is a big lead for Donald Trump. It's not the biggest we've seen a Republican have at this point pre-Iowa caucuses, but it is among the largest leads we've seen in polling uh, on the Republican side in Iowa at this point. So that's Trump's lead right now. One of the things powering it in Iowa, the evangelical vote is huge. In the 2016 Iowa caucuses, about two-thirds of all caucus goers identified as evangelical Christians. And if you remember, in 2016, Trump actually lost Iowa. A big reason was that he lost the evangelical vote by 12 points. Well, right now, in our poll, he is leading among evangelicals in Iowa by 27 points over his nearest rivals. Now evangelicals who were a weak link for Trump at the caucuses in 16 are powering him, at least at this point in the 2024 cycle. Also, the latest Trump indictment last week, uh, this is not bothering most Iowa Republicans, 65 percent, basically two-thirds saying they don't believe Trump has committed serious crimes. One interesting note on this, this poll was conducted during the news last week that Trump was being indicted for a fourth time. The portion of the poll that was conducted before that news broke had Trump leading by 18 points. The news then broke, and the portion of this poll that was conducted after the news of the Georgia indictment broke Trump jumped to a 25-point advantage there. So it's an interesting split and in showing you, again, maybe a rally around Trump effect among Republicans when these indict indictments hit. That's the hill Republicans are trying to climb to beat Trump in Iowa. But what's encouraging for some of them is this. This is the favorable, unfavorable numbers in Iowa for the Republican candidates. You see, first of all, the most popular, just liked, Republican candidate is not Trump in Iowa. It's Ron DeSantis. DeSantis is 23 points behind. But look at that. You know, 66 percent favorable, 29 percent unfavorable. How about Tim Scott? 59 to 17 favorable, unfavorable. There's Trump in the middle, 65, 33. Trump certainly very well liked, too. But it's an interesting dynamic where Trump has such a big lead but he has several opponents who are both very well known and right now very well liked by Iowa Republicans. And that's the opportunity maybe for a DeSantis, for a Scott, maybe even for a Nikki Haley in Wednesday's debate. If Trump's not there, if they're liked, can one of them start to stand out and consolidate support? Because that's where the Iowa race could get interesting. If, a, if the DeSantis, Scott, Haley, if a lot of that support could consolidate behind one of those candidates, that Trump lead could narrow and things could start to get interesting in Iowa. This is not a case of Iowa Republicans rejecting, saying they don't like all the candidates except Trump. They like hmm. quite a few of these candidates.